uh, at Moody Inside Track. Richard, when we talked at Amelia this year, you were concerned about sponsorship. You were sponsors. Um, six months later, do you feel the sponsorship thing is beginning to turn around for auto racing? I don't know that it's turned around everywhere, okay? Uh, but uh, the partners and stuff that we've had before have, have been really been good to work with. Uh, we've got a couple of new people that uh, I think is coming on board. And uh, so really, uh, from, from the overall view, it's not been easy by any means, but uh, I think it come down a little bit better uh, than what I think thought it was going to come down after I talked with you and stuff. And, uh, and I, I see some of the, uh, the deal of, of people tightening up, but they're loosening up in, in, the, in the deal of knowing that they need to be advertised and they need to be out there, they need to be in front of the people. So uh, all, all of it is just, it's coming together pretty good for us right now, yeah. If I could elaborate on that for one, too, I think uh, because of what we went through in the past with Dodge, I think we were forced into this marketplace at a time when it was, I think, at its worst. And I, I don't know many other teams that have gone out and added sponsorship and changed manufacturer affiliation like we have. So I think we have a realistic idea of what the marketplace holds. And I think we run our race team to that. We're there. We're thriving in it. I think other race owners are going to have to look at how they do their business as they go in the marketplace and try and understand what partners are willing to do and how they value in this sport. I think it's changed. I think it's changing. And uh, I think Richard Petty Motorsports is at the spearhead of that. I think we've, you know, we've been through it and uh, we've come out the other side. And I, and I think we understand uh, what our partners need to be successful. And, and I think others in this garage are going to have to go through that. And I, I feel proud that we've uh, we've gotten through it and uh, and we're going to see some others others kind of go in our wake so we're excited about that Lee Lee Spencer Fox Sports for Foster I hear I hear a lot of buzzwords stability commitment and all that but what does your sponsor lineup look like for next year and as far as the landscape of that goes how many um, teams do you anticipate to run in 2011 yeah um, one thing I appreciate, Lee, is your consistency. These questions haven't changed for months. So, um, you know, <laughs> consistency is part of it, right? Um, obviously, we have, uh, we have opportunity that we're seeking. We have, uh, we have things that we've already done that uh, we're waiting to talk about, and uh, we're going to see how it shakes out. It starts here, and uh, we're going to see over the next coming weeks as we uh, – roll out our driver roster and our partner roster and uh, we'll have answers for you as we go along but uh, things are things are very good here I've, i you know i think richard and i were talking at the truck yes last week in pocono and i think you saw a smile on both of our faces and it, it really felt good to 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 feel positive about what we're going through and what we have ahead are you okay. yeah aj this is uh for you bill kim nascar.com uh, kind of a two-part question. One, um, looking at who's departing Richard Petty Motorsports at the end of this year, we don't know who's coming on board, obviously, in 2011, since those are in uh, Mr. Petty's pocket. But do you... Uh, it's a deep, it's deep, a pocket, deep pocket, too. Pocket too yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, are, are you prepared to perhaps be a leader of, of this team? Um, you know, obviously, we don't know who's coming in, but you might be the guy who is looked upon as the veteran of this team. Are you ready to wear that hat? And then secondly, just talk about uh, your road course success. Um, Road courses have been your better tracks in the Cup Series, and I was just wondering if you could elaborate on that a little bit. Yeah, I mean that was uh, that was a big selling point. I mean it uh, uh, to be a leader of uh, of this race team. It's something that uh, that I thrive on. Something that excites me every day to know that I can be uh, I can be the guy, and uh, and that was that was a, a huge selling point. I have the confidence in myself that you know I can lead this team. I can I can go out there and and uh, represent it to the best of its abilities and. And, uh, and and hopefully when people think about Richard Petty Motorsports, now they think about me as, as the one that's leading the team. And, and uh, it's something for me that uh, it really does. It excites me. I get pumped up to, to think about the opportunity and the potential to, to be the spearhead to, to hopefully take this team to a, to a lot of race victories and, a, and ultimately a championship. I mean, that's the goal. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that, to that opportunity. And, uh, you know, for the road course racing, I mean, it's what I grew up doing running Indy cars. These are a lot different obviously than uh than an indy car but it's still road course racing there's still a different technique that you, you got to use for it but uh you know now in the sprint cup series unfortunately everybody seems to be really good at road course racing and you know you had uh 
you had in the past, you get a couple guys that come in and, and really stand out when they were road course ringers or whatever you wanted to call them. Uh, but you know, to this day, I mean, there's a there's a lot lot better road course driving than than guys that are struggling at it. So it's uh, I don't think anybody's really got an advantage now when you show up to these places. But uh, I still love road course racing. I wish we did a little bit more of it. So uh, when you come to places like Sonoma and Watkins Glen, I really get pumped up for it. All right, Terry. Terry Blunt, ESPN.com. Foster, do you feel like you know you've silenced your critics a little bit? I mean, six months ago. You know, frankly, things looked bleak. Casey was leaving. You didn't know what was happening with AJ. Now AJ's here to stay. Uh, there's a, a lot of speculation, of course, about Marcus. Um, things are obviously looking up. Do you feel like you've proven what you said a long time ago, that the organization was here to stay? And, and what, without getting too specific, I know what did you tell AJ and Tara to convince them that he should stay? You don't have, we don't have enough time for what he had to tell us, so. <laughs> well, I think in this sport it's wonderful because the talking happens on the track, and I think AJ and Tara see our commitment to trying to get better. I think some of that is through our partners that have uh, continued to support us and our unbelievable partnership with Ford. I think uh, from the day we've stepped in the door, uh, they've been excited about us being here, and they've wanted AJ to stay. So that's exciting, too, when you know that's there. And uh, we don't... I understand the criticism. It's part of life. It's part of sports. And uh, I, I know it's what churns the pot and keeps everything going. So we do this for ourselves, for our partners, and for our own success. I think Richard, AJ, and I would be our hardest critics ourselves. So I think we hold ourselves to high standards, and we try our best. So uh, we look forward to uh, winning races and progressing to championships and trying to do everything we you know, thought we could do. I, I met AJ in my bus at Talladega after he'd... Uh, separated from Red Bull and he had six races we had six races to go or something in the season and we were talking about putting them in our car and there was another opportunity that he had at the time and I told him that he'd make the right decision to come to Richard Petty Motorsports because this was going to be a long-term future we were going to work on and I'm I'm proud that those five races turned into a season turned into a second season and have turned into a long-term relationship so we're excited about that, and I think uh, we all want to win together. That's why we're here. We're a, we're a family, and we're pretty excited. All right, we've got one last question, Utter. Uh, Jim Utter, Charlotte Observer Foster. To follow up on Bill's question to AJ, could you just address how you think, or you or Richard, think AJ would be as uh, you see him as leader of this organization? Richard's obviously much more the racer than I, so I could take it from my perspective, but I think. AJ's passion for this sport is obvious. I think the way he works with our partners and our people uh, is phenomenal. I think there's some drivers who, you know, in different teams and others that are, um, you know, they, they, they call in, they're around, they show up at the racetrack, and uh, AJ's in our shop daily. He knows every single person on our race team. He's a real part of our team. This is, uh, this is something we're all proud of, and I think our guys root for him a lot because last year, in the previous years as we were trying to build his career, I think every person at Richard Petty Motorsports feels a part of AJ. And uh, so we're excited. I think when I told the guys in the shop, it was like, it was just great news for them. So we look forward to AJ being that. That's, that's what this contract is about. It's about AJ stepping to the forefront. And uh, we look forward to him blazing the way and other people trying to catch him on our team. And we encourage him to do that. And, and uh, we like the way he drives, and we like the way he handles himself with our partners, and and so uh, we think that's the future. That's why we've done this. All right. Thank you guys very, very much.